Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning, and Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more.
Over the past 25 years, Colonial Motors has connected countless Delawareans with pre-owned cars to satisfy every purpose and budget. Find your next vehicle at one of three convenient locations or browse their vast inventory online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com.
think about it. The trash and recycling bins in our homes, even with normal use, are places where harmful bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli can multiply by the thousands. But like anyone, you want to keep your home and your family as healthy as possible. Delaware Trash Can Cleaning can help. They sanitize your trash cans with high-pressure hot water jets that can kill over 99% of the germs and bacteria in your cans in just a few minutes. To schedule your first cleaning, call 302-310-9075 or visit DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. The future of Delaware hockey is here. First State Ice Hockey is committed to growing the game, raising the bar, and building better, more complete youth hockey players in and around Delaware. Join the movement of one state, one goal at FirstStateIceHockey.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning and Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more.
Hi, friends, and a most pleasant good evening to you wherever you may be. Our Delaware Hockey Night quadruple header has reached its final leg here from Fred Rust Arena on the campus of the University of Delaware. The Exton Kings coming into town for their first of three meetings with the Delaware Junior Blue Hens in 18 AA division competition in the Delaware Valley Hockey League. And after recording 24 saves in a 5-3 victory earlier today against the Central Penn Panthers, the lefty Justin Mackley will look to do it again for Sean Cannon's Junior Blue Hens, who at this point are 5-0-0 on their campaign after making it all the way to the USA Hockey National Championships presented by Chipotle last spring. Justin Mackley, of course, the backstop in the Hens' victory earlier today over the Central Penn Panthers. Goals from Matt Bellapede, Nick Del Pizzo, Logan Moradi, Christian Kinsler, and Foster Wilkins. Carried the Blue Hens to their first DVHL win of the season. They look to complete the weekend 
with a pair of victories over these Exton Kings. In fact, Delaware's next three meetings, including the one we're about to see together right now, will be against the Kings. Pre-game warm-up has concluded here at Fred Rust Arena. And the stage is set for our last game of the weekend here on DHN TV, at least as far as the junior blue ends are concerned. Preseason action for the University of Delaware men's division one team on tap tomorrow. Officials for this evening's game, Chris Castagliola and Rob Savastano. Exton traveling right to left in this first period, wearing their away red kits. Delaware and their home whites moving from left to right. First period action brought to you by First State Ice Hockey, committed to building the next generation of youth hockey players under the philosophy of one state, one goal. Learn more about their classes, clinics, events, and their growing summer program by visiting firststateicehockey.com. Hens rolling into this game with five wins in as many games thus far. Exton, they're still looking for that elusive first win. They're 0-2 coming in to Fred Rust Arena, being dealt a pair of losses on home ice, 8-2 at the hands of the Quakers on Sunday last weekend, and before that, a 9-2 loss at Genesis. In goal for Exton, it will be Evan Shiraba. Justin Mackley is mentioned with the two shutouts at the York Showcase last weekend and his 24-save effort in a 5-3 win over Central Penn earlier today handling the net mining duties for the Blue Hens. Off we go. In the first period, Dominic Tercy across from Luke Mohan for the opening draw. Tercy joined by Jeffrey Colmeri and Michael Massey on the first line with Sean Cannon. Rather, elects to start the third line today. Brody Ford and Eamon Schofield holding down the fort defensively in these early stages. Mohan checked off the puck trying to traverse neutral ice. It rolls back into the Delaware zone where Brody Ford chips it beyond the reach of Haster. And now with room up the left wing boards, tries to connect with Michael Massey, but he's double teamed just inside the Exton line, giving way to Mohan, who shovels the puck back deep into the Delaware end. Three 17-minute periods. The format of this contest. Puck evades the reach of Foster Wilkins as we start to see the second line work in. Christian Kinsler, Wilkins, and Nick Fiore. That second line and the first line will follow them up. Matt Bellopede, along with Nick Del Pizzo and Nate Cross. And a couple rapid fire shots from the Hens. One high from Ford, follow up chance by Kinsler, both handled well by Sharaba, and the Kings clear. Turner, long pass to Kinsler. He was challenged at center, red by Kopecki. Loose puck corralled by Skrillitz, walked in, long shot. From the top of the right circle, was well off its target. Rebound comes out to the point, which Crutch Moyer failed to maintain. Wilkins, challenge for the biscuit by Skrillitz. It's skied in the near corner. And now batted by Turner, ahead to Ford, and shoveled off the toe of his back end to Kinsler on further to Nick Fiore. So a lot of action along the right wing boards as the Hens regain attacking position. Centering feed from below the goal evades the reach of Kinsler. Brought by Aiden Rogiani back to center. Recovered by Moretti. Around the near side, Kinsler tips it over the blue line into the near corner of the Exton zone. That enables him to come off in favor of some fresh legs. The Del Pizzo cross and Bellopede line taking their place now. And a loose puck again just inside the Delaware blue line. Corralled by Logan Moretti. Stretched ahead to Crossan. He faces heavy traffic up the near boards, absorbing a check from Jack Lord at the half wall. And coming back the other way, Saunders is slowed up by a Matt Bellipede shoulder into the near glass. So we're two and a half minutes in to this first of three 17-minute periods. No score between the Delaware Junior Blue Hens and the Exton Kings in this 18 AA 
Delaware Valley Hockey League regular season matchup. First of three meetings between these two teams, and wouldn't you know it, all three of these meetings will take place in the span of a week. They meet again tomorrow at Exton, and then next Friday night, September 23rd, right here at the University of Delaware, but they'll be at the Gold Arena next Friday. Delaware Hockey Night will have coverage of the UD Men's Division Three team in their season opener against Fairfield. Kings unable to work free of their own zone. Owen Fennessy drives in below the net. Pressured by Brown. Leaves it to Crossan. They're also teammates with the Avon Grove Red Devils high school team. One of three that we cover here at Delaware Hockey Night. The others being Salesianum and St. Mark's. DeLegge maintaining the left point. Throws the puck into a congested slot. Heaster wrists one clear. He pursues the puck, tries to bat it down in pursuit of Fennessy. Cross and recovers at the Delaware blue line. Cross ice feed. Finds Pasiti. Shot off the tip of the glove of Shiraba. Behind the net it goes to the near corner. Bellapede can't bring it free. Crossan tries to center. Pass intended, I thought, for Bellapede. Delegi couldn't keep it in center point either. The defenders, Bellapede and Schofield, retreat. The Tercy line returns. And the Junior Blue Hens force back in their own zone. We'll try to regroup more deliberately. Puck stolen by Unger. Centered to Skrillitz. But a sea of white sweaters surrounded him and disrupted any further chance he might have been able to develop. Ford to Tercy again. Schofield offering some help to get past the Skrillitz for checking heat. Schofield driven into the glass far side, and Saunders works it back into the Delaware zone. The puck, that is. Schofield again. Floating forward, centers to Pasiti. In a congested slot, couldn't connect from 22 feet. Five minutes in, no score. Massey and Skrillitz meet, vying for the puck at the base of the Exton bench. Massey got a shot away, but it missed the near post by a good six feet. Schofield back inside his line, overpowered by Rogiani. Fiore couldn't disrupt him. However, Rogiani was angled to the near corner, dumped the puck in behind the Delaware goal, and out come the hens on the offensive again. Kinsler. Centers from the corner. Wilkins chases the puck down, fires one off the post. Loose puck in front, cleared out by Lord. And this will wobble the length of the ice to bring us an icing. Five minutes and 40 seconds into the first period of a scoreless hockey game. Delaware Hockey Night TV is brought to you by Heather A. Long, partner of Kimmel Carter, your Delaware injury lawyers. Heather specializes in personal injury and workers' compensation cases and is available for consultation at 302-565-6132. That's 302-565-6132. The Mars man, Logan Morady, maintaining the left point, works the puck in closer. Hughes playing the body on Kinsler. Fiore tries to run the gauntlet low, lefts, leaves it now to Turner through traffic. That shot blocked off the skates of Mohan. Kinsler couldn't dig it free for a secondary opportunity. We've passed the six-minute mark of the first period. Turner again looking for space, tries to line up a shot from the high slot, but he was bothered by Devon, able to work clear. However, the back-checking Christian Kinsler, dynamite 200-foot player, was the quickest back-checker into the Delaware zone, disrupting yet another excellent attack. They've yet to get a shot away, the Kings have. And Wilkins, despite momentary hesitation, protected the zone, ultimately Exton, drawn offside. Ten minutes and change to go in the first period. Bellapede to cross and backhand net front. 
was wide after Hughes put the heat on him in the low slot. They converge in the far corner, chasing down the rebound. Bellapede there as well, along with Del Pizzo, trying to dig the puck free. Bellapede able to generate some space to get to it after it looked like Skrillitz poked it free, ultimately, for the Kings. Kopecky steals. Up the middle he comes, stonewalled by Fennessy, five feet inside the Delaware blue line. Stretch pass the other way. Poke checked away from Bellapede after he gained the zone for the Hens. Del Pizzo offering aid, threw one off the pads of Sharaba into the far corner that puck rolls, maintained by Fennessy at the left point. Bellapede confronted in the far corner by Saunders. Needed some help, got it in the form of Nate Crossan. Puck got trapped, and Saunders escapes momentarily. Centered to Bellapede by Del Pizzo from the corner. Taken away and fired up ice. D to D pass from Fennessy to DeLegge. Crossan bodied at the near half wall by Lord. Hens and Kings swarm in alike. Skrillitz back the other direction, lost his footing. Still managed to stick Candle into the high slot, but he was double teamed once he got there. Couldn't really do much of anything from that point. Here's Brody Ford trying to negotiate extant traffic as we come to the halfway point of the first period. This game is scoreless. Blue Hens with all four shots so far against the Exton Kings, who've registered none. Pasiti angling for position. He's got it, but the puck is taken away from him after Lord checks him away. Pasiti comes right back in, turning, trying to get the puck on his forehand, but one too many steps, one too many stick handles gave Owen Brown a chance to counter. And Delaware is off to the Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill. As we see Rob Savastano issue a hooking minor against Eamon Schofield. This coming 9.03 into the first period. Delaware Trash Can Cleaning penalty kill upon us. Schedule your first cleaning by visiting DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. Delaware penalty assessed to number 13, Eamon Schofield. Two minutes, four hooking. Time of the penalty, nine minutes, three seconds in the first period. Schofield, two for hooking at 9.03. Hens trying to make some shorthanded magic happen. Crutch Moyer overskated the puck under pursuit from Fiore. He and Wilkins, the two men of four. DeLegge. And Fennessy at the back of this penalty kill. An icing against Exton will set up an attacking zone faceoff for the shorthanded Blue Hens. We should note planning for retirement isn't something that happens overnight. For 35 years, Limestone Pension Associates has helped small businesses craft and administer pension plans for their workforces. Learn more at limestonepension.net. Proud partners of Delaware Hockey Night. And we're glad to have them on board for the return of our pregame report. Mackley denied Crutch Moyer from long range. Kinsler chases down a puck mid zone in the extant end. Swatted away from his reach by Lord. Massey bodied in the far corner. And he is slow to get up. He needs some help getting back to his feet from his teammates. And we need some particulars.
as it pertains to Jack Lord. But we're gonna be four on four for the next 42 seconds. Penalty information forthcoming. If only the off-ice officials. Let us know the rest of the story. We do know it was on Jack Lord. We do know it was a two and 10, but we don't know what for. The Schofield penalty has expired. So for the junior blue ends, they are now on their first primo power play of the game. You too can score on the Primo Power Play. Visit your local neighborhood Primo Hoagies on Baltimore Pike in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania to experience Primo's old-fashioned style Italian specialty sandwiches. It's not just a hoagie. It's a Primo. An icing against Exton. We'll set up an attacking zone face-off. Fiore in to take the draw. Wilkins and Kinsler alongside him. Marady couldn't glove the puck down at the point. That leaves the door open for Unger. Penalty coming up. Had the potential for a penalty shot. So we thought up here, but... Savastano's just going to give Kinsler a slash. With 5.20 to go in the first period. Delaware penalty assessed to number 34, Christian Kinsler. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 40 seconds. In the first period, Kinsler two for slashing at 11.40. Still awaiting penalty information on the Exton infraction at 10.20. We'll report that to you as soon as it's made available. Jacob Snellenberg, who's sitting to our left, Delaware men's division one goalie and sometimes official, is trying to cloak his laughter, but not doing a particularly good job of it. Oh well. We can only tell that of the story that we're made privy to. Exton penalty was assessed to number seven, Jack Lord, two minutes for boarding, plus a 10-minute misconduct. Time of the penalty, 10 minutes, 20 seconds in the first period. Again, Lord, two and 10 for boarding at 10.20. In the words of Paul Harvey, now you know the rest of the story. Mackley with his second save. A pile of players in the near corner. A woman in the stands in need of a thesaurus. And a cross check assessed Aiden Rogiani.
So we're going to be four on four for the next 30 seconds. And then the Hens will be on a primo power play from there. Exton penalty assessed to number 71, Aiden Rogiani. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of the penalty, 13 minutes, 11 seconds in the first period. Rogiani, two for cross-checking at 13-11. Tercy, high to Fennessy at the point. He tried to work it low to Tercy again, but that puck evaded Tercy's reach and is slammed back out the near side by Kopecky as far as the Delaware blue line, where Fennessy recovers. To Delegi, intercepted by Kretschmoyer, walked back in by Delegi now. He tried to set up Colmary high on the zone. That pass intercepted by Kopecky. He walks into a two on three. He takes aim from long range just inside the blue line. He let that puck go, and it was caught cleanly by Justin Mackley. For his third save of the game. Faceoff comes to his right. Bellapede and Mohan at the near dot. We'll keep a special eye on Michael Massey, particularly when he returns to action after getting his bell rung in the far corner. A big key in this Delaware offense for sure. Not the flashiest forward, but a big supporting role Michael plays, so... Down to nine forwards. This Blue Hens team still looking for that elusive first goal. Ford at the left point. Now to Matt Bellapede. A Mohan stick check slows him up, but Ford maintains the zone at the far side. He tries to dipsy doodle through traffic, but Cup keeps him to the corner. High to Turner it goes. Long shot blocked by Mohan. And the Hens are forced back into neutral territory to regroup, and they do. Ford sticked at by Cup, re-enters, leaves the puck to Bellapede at the half wall. High to Turner. Flip to Ford, back to Turner. Shot from the dot, popped up into the netting, and out of play with 109 seconds to go in the first period of a scoreless game. Face off to the left of Evan Sharaba, who has stopped all six sh shots he's seen so far. To the gentleman in the stands, who is more vocal than the rest of us, we are looking for officials. If you'd like, we certainly encourage you to lace them up. Now we take the official hat off and put the commentator hat back on as we enter the final 80 seconds of the first period and as Kinsler enters the Exton zone. Fiore strips the puck from Rogiani trying to escape. Wilkins bodied off his intended lane and driven into the end boards by Saunders. A two-a-side scrum for the puck develops there. It is kicked free now to Rogiani. One minute remaining in the period. One minute. Long shot off the stick of Saunders, swatted aside by Mackley. Rebound controlled by Schofield, trailing to the near corner of his own zone. He launches this up the middle to Kinsler on further to the accelerating Foster Wilkins, but Aiden Kretschmoyer drives him into the near corner out of his intended path. Support offered by Kinsler. Cross ice feed ricochets off the far boards. Fennessy works it down low again, left side. Saunders offers the bodily resistance there. Fennessy keeps on ticking. Johnny Pasitti couldn't maintain a net front presence, and this puck sails back as far as the Delaware blue line, where Kinsler again recovers. Kinsler up the right. Drop pass to Fennessy. Thrown off the end boards. Beyond the reach of Kinsler, this rolls to the far corner. Last five seconds of the first period. Delegi 
look to line up Clark momentarily just above the blue line. The horn sounds and the first period has reached its conclusion. The score through one period, Exton King zero. Your Delaware Junior Blue Heads, zero. First period shots on goal, Exton four, Delaware six. We will take a pause here on Delaware Hockey Night TV, and it's all brought to you by Heather A. Long, partner of Kimmel Carter, your Delaware injury lawyers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions, including writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media management, multimedia production, consultation, and more to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Learn more at 412communications.com. Let's face it, saving for retirement doesn't happen overnight. It takes planning, and Limestone Pension Associates has spent the past 35 years helping small businesses do just that. Limestone specializes in crafting, planning, and handling the day-to-day -day administration of qualified pension plans tailor-fit to your company's needs and objectives. To schedule a consultation, call 302-479-8817 or visit limestonepension.net to learn more. Welcome back into Delaware Hockey Night, presented by Heather A. Long, partner with Kimmel Carter, your Delaware injury attorneys. Second period action brought to you by the Hooper family. Longtime supporters of Delaware Blue Hens hockey and of tonight's live coverage of the Delaware Junior Blue Hens on Delaware Hockey Night TV. Teams change ends for the second period. A lot of flow back and forth in that first period. And the first goal of the game comes seven seconds. into the second period and goes the way of Aiden Rogiani for Exton. So the Hens finding themselves in unfamiliar territory and that's trailing for the first time this season. Rogiani with the goal. And David Kopecki was credited with the lone assist. Exton goal scored by number 71, Aiden Rogiani. Assisted by number 81, David Kopecki. Time of the goal. Seven seconds in the second period. Rogiani from Kopecki at seven seconds. We've still got some advert spots left over from the first period that we've got to get to you. We'll work those in here in the second period. for the benefit of the people who make Delaware Hockey Night possible. Make a truly all-American meal the centerpiece of your next team event or special occasion. Sid's Barbecue and Jerky in nearby Claymont, Delaware can cater your next group event offering pulled pork, brisket, and barbecued chicken on a daily basis along with a variety of sauces and sides sure to please any appetite. Kansas City style barbecue sauce is absolutely to die for. Visit SIDS at Sweet C26 in the Tri State Industrial Center. 
on Ridge Road in Claymont. Open Monday through Saturday for takeaway lunch, or if you'd like to place a catering order, you can do that too by calling 302-439-4937 or visit sidsbbqandjerky.com. Schofield to Bellapede, out of the Delaware zone. Bellapede stripped of the puck, and Devin Unger walks it in. Angled to the far corner by Eamon Schofield. They jostle for position and possession. That battle migrates to the corner boards where Ford offers some aid, but Luke Mohan stays with it for the Kings. Now Ford emerges with the puck below his own goal. We're two minutes into the second period. Exton with a 1-0 lead over the Delaware Junior Blue Hens. Del Pizzo leaves it to Bellapede, two on two. Bellapede slowed up by Brown, working in to the Exton zone. Lost control of the puck, trying to protect it. The left point was Schofield, but he gave it away to Saunders. Stretch pass ahead to Unger. Centering feed intended for Mohan, blocked down in the low slot by Schofield. He's tied up by Heaster. Still Schofield maintained his ground. And here come the Hens again. Nick Del Pizzo tries to head man to Bellapede. No avail. Del Pizzo stays with the puck. Left to Turner at the right point. Long shot, a one hop that was batted down by Shiraba. Here's Bellapede again below the goal. Del Pizzo net front. Reaching around him to intercept Rogiani. Disrupted. The Hens' chance at the equalizer. Del Pizzo again couldn't get past Kretschmoyer this time. Aiden Kretschmoyer generating space at the near side. Left the puck back to Jonathan Cup. His cross ice outlet intercepted by Bellapede, who was on his way off. But that gave the Hens another opportunity for a shot. Here comes Kinsler, ahead to Turner. Turner's stick lifted on the doorstep by Clark. They converge in the near corner. Kinsler now, Wilkins, across at the right dot. The Mars man, Logan Morady, let one rip from the dot, but his shot was directed wide. We're at the four-minute mark of the second period. Fiore hits Foster Wilkins with a head man pass up the middle, but Wilkins bodied off his intended path by Brown. Again, lost the opportunity for the equalizer. Morady puts the body on Mohan at the far half wall of the Delaware zone. Puck directed in low. Skrillet's tied up. Meanwhile, a race for the puck develops between Mohan and Fiore in the far corner. Knock near side, recovered by Morady, who couldn't backhand it beyond both Skrillitz and Mohan. And the whistle of Rob Savastano sounds with 12-14. To go in the second period, and Logan Morady is ruled off. for a slash, so it's time for a Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill for the Delaware Junior Blue Hens. Delaware trash can cleaning comes right to your driveway and kills over 99% of the harmful bacteria and germs that accumulate in your trash and recycling bins. They use high pressure hot water jets to do so, sanitizing and disinfecting your bins and keeping your home and your family healthy. Schedule your first cleaning today at DelawareTrashCanCleaning.com. Delaware penalty assessed to number 33, Logan Morady. Two minutes, four slashing. Time of the penalty. Four minutes, 46 seconds in the second period. Morady, two for slashing at 446. DeLegge at center leaves the puck back to Michael Massey, who is back in the game. We always like to be able to report good news, and that's certainly good news that the Delaware bench remains intact. Bellapede rolls the puck behind the goal to Massey. 
Glove down by Fennessy. Brown the four checker. This cleared back as far as the Exton blue line where Kretsch Moyer turns it back to the other side. Cross ice pass Mohan driven into the corner by DeLegge. And DeLegge with a little bit of extra English on the hit is going to be issued a two minute reprieve of his own. Completely avoidable. But so it goes. Antonio DeLegge at 6.08, handed across checking minor, so the Blue Hens will be down two men for the next 39 seconds. Bellipede, Crossan, and Ford are the three who remain. Delaware penalty assessed to number 59, Antonio DeLegge. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of the penalty, six minutes, eight seconds in the second period. DeLegge two for cross-checking at 6.08. Just that little bit extra at the end of the altercation it was enough to draw Savastano's ire. Centering pass to Luke Mohan. First shot was saved. The second, a power play goal. For Luke Mohan making this. A 2-0 Exton Kings lead. Power play continues for another minute and 20 seconds. So it was Mohan getting on the board and the assists to come. Cole Mary took aim from close range. This caught and held by Sharaba for another pause in play. This with 9.52 to go. In the second period, Exton. Now with a 2-0 lead after the Mohan power play goal. Pasiti flanked by Colmeri and Schofield takes this attacking zone face off to the left of Sharaba. Exton goal scored by number 12, Luke Mohan, assisted by number 28, Devin Unger, and number 81, David Kopecki. Time of the power play goal, six minutes, 44 seconds. In the second period, Mohan from Unger and Kopecki at 6.44, a power play goal. And another penalty this time we hear from Chris Castagliola, Rogiani off. For hooking. With 7.38 elapsed here in the second period. So we'll be four on four for just under a half minute before the Hens head to a primo power play. Exton penalty assessed to number 71, Aiden Rogiani. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, seven minutes, 38 seconds in the second period. Rogiani, two for hooking. At 7.38, your Delaware Junior Blue Hens are now on the Primo Power Play. You too can score on the Primo Power Play. Visit your local neighborhood Primo Hoagies at 1278 Baltimore Pike in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania to experience Primo's old-fashioned style Italian specialty sandwiches. It's not just a hoagie, it's a Primo. Ford to Bellapede stepping up to the dot. Tried to pick the top corner, but was wide of the far post. Puck ricocheted off the bat glass deep into the Delaware end where Schofield recovers. Fiore is going to stay with him. 
Here's Fiore up the left dots. Building up some steam, walking in. Had the puck on his backhand as Brown reached in. Had to retrace his steps, and now he leaves it to center point in Kinsler. Across to Moretti. Back high it goes. Gianni Pasitti. Kinsler looked one-timer, but as Lord stepped up, he rethought his options. Net front chance. Wilkins reaching. And a sprawling save made by Evan Sharaba. Keeps this a 2-0 hockey game. Advantage, the Exton Kings. Half a minute left on the primo power play for the Blue Hens. And the faceoff will come to Sharaba's right. Hard clearing attempt off the carom shot played by Heaster, but the zone was held by the Mars man, Logan Moretti. Kinsler up high, shot, where's the puck? It's in! The Hens have scored! Amid an absolute mess of players net front, Nick Fiore picks up the pieces and the Delaware Junior Blue Hens connect on the primo power play to get back to within a goal. So Nick Fiore has cut the Delaware deficit in half. Scoring on the primo power play, and this puck is sent up into the netting by Michael Massey. A Delaware goal! Scored by number 81, Nick Fiore! Assisted by number 34, Christian Kinsler! And number 42, Foster Wilkins. Time of the primo power play goal. Nine minutes, 27 seconds. In the second period, Fiore from Kinsler and Wilkins at 9.27, a power play goal. Crossland absorbs a check but maintains the zone. Bellapede with space steps up. Shot blocked by Sharaba at the top of the crease down to the butterfly. Clark clears. Crossland re enters to Bellapede behind his back. Del Pizzo on the doorstep with the equalizer. It is two aside. Beautiful tic-tac-toe there for the Hens. Two goals in 55 seconds. And the Exton Kings lead is history. Right across the slot. Del Pizzo finishes what Crossan began and the link in between. Matt Bellapede. They strike again. Del Pizzo nearly had another chance at the top of the crease. A Delaware goal! Scored by number 18, Nick Del Pizzo. Assisted by number 11, Matt Bellapede. And number 45, Nate Crossan. Time of the goal, 10 minutes, 22 seconds in the second period. Del Pizzo from Bellapede and Crossan 
at 10-22. So back on level pegging these junior blue hens with two unanswered goals. Are starting to regain their sea legs. After coming out of the gate a little bit flat-footed in their second game of the day. Ford at the far half wall flips the puck low to Kinsler. It is cleared by Kretsch Moyer, and this will come back offside. There's a new gold standard in digital media solutions for small businesses. 412 Communications offers web and graphic design, social media consultation, public relations, writing and editing services, and more. Visit 412communications.com to learn how they can help your brand build lasting relationships. Build bridges, let's say. How's that with your clientele? Unger puts on the brakes, shoots from the right dot, rings one off the post, and into the netting out of play with five minutes and 30 seconds to go in the second period. Hens trapped in their zone. Heaster looking for a path. Fiore can't clear. Saunders at the right point. Let's one go from long range, but that chance woefully off target. Ford clears. Wilkins carries the momentum further for Delaware. Fiore below the goal. Up high to Ford. Crisp, clean, Fast puck movement, the key for these blue hens. Cross ice feed, Wilkins, that shot. Waffle boarded away by Sharaba. Looked like Wilkins trying to pick the top corner, but Sharaba got enough of it to keep the game 2-2. Wilkins in again. Double teamed, angled wide by Crutch Moyer. Flips the puck away to try to generate some space while the others behind him change. And this is flipped up the far wall by Heaster as far as the hens' blue line. City shovels the puck off his backhand in deep. Down to the final 4-10 of the second period. Net front feed from Tercy. Sails beyond the reach of Pacity. Couldn't connect at the top of the crease. Kings clear again. Their back's more to a wall now than earlier in the second period. Johnny Pacity. Time and space. Backhand, No. And this one was covered up by Evan Sharaba, sprawled out across the crease, making his 15th save on 17 total shots faced. It's not for lack of shots for these blue hens. But on a couple of occasions, they've gotten lazy in the neutral zone, and that's been the difference maker for Exton. The second goal, the Mohan goal, coming as a result of a three-on-one attack. A mid two-man advantage. Stretch pass to Michael Massey, two-on-one behind his back. Tercy unable to field the pass across from dot to dot. Tercy leaves it to Massey below the net again. Taken away by Brown. Flipped out of harm's way. Massey recovers at the far half wall. Centering feed beyond the reach of Pacitti. Turner steps up with a shot at the top of the left circle. It was sticked off its line. Fed back to him by Pacitti. Another blocked shot, this time high in the zone by Kopecki. Worked back through the slot by Moradi to the near side. Skrillitz and Turner race the puck down mid-zone. And out come the Kings on the attack. Kopecki shot, batted down by the Mackley glove for save number eight on ten total shots thus far in this game. Here comes Turner the other way. 
Head man up the middle to Gianni Pasitti. He blew a tire trying to traverse the slot, lost the puck. 25 feet from the cage, it was then stolen from Clark by Bellapi trying to turn a quick chance around, but that opportunity was wide. The Marady follow-up at the top of the left circle off the back glass, and this puck rebounds back into the neutral zone where Caleb Turner is drawn to the referee's crease to try to work it forward. Bellapede barely onside, but the puck sailed right beyond him into the control of Owen Brown, who volleys it from blue line to blue line and then some. Cleared out by Marady, tipped back in, and this comes offside. With one minute and 50 seconds to go in the second period of a 2-2 hockey game. Joining the Delaware Hockey Knights sponsor roster for the 2022-23 season, your local neighborhood Primo Hoagies on Baltimore Pike at Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Experience Primo's old-fashioned style Italian specialty sandwiches. And they're close to home, too. It's not just a hoagie. It's a Primo. Crossan to Del Pizzo in the slot. Mishandled the puck at the top hash marks. Kretsch Moyer took it away. DeLegge, trying to maintain the right point, keeps the zone airtight this time. It's thrown across ice by Del Pizzo, chased by Bellapede to the half wall. Worked around by Cross into DeLegge, who opens fire at the top of the right circle. Hard shot from 35 feet, gathered in cleanly and held onto by Sharaba for a pause in play with 62 seconds left in the second period. Exton Kings and the Delaware Junior Blue Hens deadlocked at two with Christian Kinsler in to take the attacking zone draw across from Mohan. One minute remaining in the period. One minute. Fiore sets up Wilkins right down the pipe. Shot from 20 feet held by Sharaba. Another attacking zone draw, another Antonio DeLegge shot. Wilkins with the backhand attempt off the rebound, denied on the welcome at two by Sharaba. Down to the final 40 seconds of the second period of a 2-2 hockey game. Fiore. Through traffic, finds Fennessy, shot at the top of the left circle, blocked off the Mohan stick. Brown clears off the far glass. Delaware driven back into the neutral zone to recover. They do. However, Fennessy's attack is slowed up just inside the Exton blue line by Devin Unger. Kinsler looking for space, looking for Fiore as well, down close. Fiore double teamed, was angled by Brown to the far corner. Rolled the puck low, it comes out to the near corner where it's tipped by Wilkins. And the horn sounds to signal the end of the second period. The score through two periods. Exton Kings two, Delaware Junior Blue Hens two. We'll take a break. Here on Delaware Hockey Night TV, it's all brought to you by Heather A. Long, partner of Kimball Carter, your Delaware Injury Lawyers. Thank you. 
Welcome back into Delaware Hockey Night, presented by Heather A. Long, partner of Kimmel Carter, your Delaware injury lawyers. What a second period we were in for. Aiden Rogiani opens the scoring just seven seconds into the frame. Right off the opening draw, won by Kopecki. A five-on-three goal from Luke Mohan. Made it 2 nothing at the midpoint of the second. And then in a matter of 55 seconds, the Delaware Junior Blue Hens got two back in short order, one from Nick Fiore, one from Nick Del Pizzo. Fiore had three assists in the Hens' earlier win today, a 5-3 victory over Central Penn. Nick Del Pizzo had a goal and a helper there, and he got on the board with the equalizer for Delaware this afternoon. The Mohan headman pass in the slot. Set up an Unger shot, which missed the far post. Tercy tried to find Colmary on the stretch pass. No icing here. It's waved off by Rob Savistano. Slammed by Brown back the other way as far as the Delaware blue line plus 15 feet, where Morady maintains. Marady sure to gain the red line before backhanding the puck about belt high deep into the Exton zone. Gave way to Saunders, but also gave the reinforcements time to set. Another long clear. D to D pass, Marady to Turner. Now up the right wing boards comes Crossan. Drop pass to Bella Pete, stepping up to the dot. Del Pete so scores again! Lightning strikes again as the Hens top line. Del Pizzo from Bellapede and Crossan take the lead with nearly a carbon copy of their last goal. Crossan at the right half wall, finds Bellapede at the dot, finds Del Pizzo at the top of the crease, and now it's 3-2 Delaware. Oh, uh, Delaware goal! His third of the DVHL season, second of the game. Scored by number 18, Nick Del Pizzo. Assisted by number 11, Matt Bellapede. And number 45, Nate Crossan. Time of the goal, 1 minute 47 seconds in the third period. Del Pizzo's third second of the game from Bellapede and Crossan at 147. Puck out of play into the Exton bench. Ruled tipped in off a Delaware stick. Gives us the pause in play with just under three minutes elapsed in the third period. Now three unanswered Delaware goals. And they've taken their first lead of the game. Race on for the putt. Clark was boxed out after poking it across neutral territory. Wilkins got to it well in time but failed to clear as Heaster protected center point. Close-up shot, a Clark backhand directed to the far side by Mackley. And Kinsler's ruled offside on the way back through. Face-off spotted just above the Delaware blue line. 
Sponsorship opportunities are available here on Delaware Hockey Night all season long. A hundred game schedule. Taking us all the way to the beginning of March. Get your name in front of a growing audience across the entire Mid-Atlantic and into the Midwest. Drop us a note, James, at 412communications.com. We'd love to hear from you. As this 2022-23 season of DHN TV is just starting to get heated up. Fiore. In close, Wilkins lost sight of the puck as he was boxed out by Brown at the top of the crease. Fiore will try again, but the other 81, David Kopecki, slowed him up in the high slot. A hard wrister high in the zone from Owen Fennessy is caught by Evan Sharaba for his 23rd save of the game. 12 minutes, 48 seconds to go in regulation. Somebody took a timeout, but we're not, we believe it was Exton who took the timeout. Timeout, Exton. After dropping three in a row. Make a truly all-American meal the centerpiece of your next team event or special occasion. Visit Sid's Barbecue and Jerky at Suite C26 in the Tri-State Industrial Center on Ridge Road in Claymont. Open Monday through Saturday for takeaway lunch. Or if you'd like to place a catering order, and certainly something we recommend for your next team event or special occasion, Call 302-439-4937 or visit SidsBBQAndJerky.com. Sid's Barbecue and Jerky, the official brisket of Delaware Hockey Night. And after this game concludes, you'll definitely want to stick around to find out who the Sid's three stars of the game will be. Timeout has concluded. Play resumes in the Exton zone. Pasiti hassled, mightily so by Saunders, driving him a good 20 feet away from the faceoff dot. Close-up shot, Pasiti rebounds in! Pasiti had the initial shot, and Massey's going to lead the Handshake cue down the bench. So it looked like he was the one who put it away. Four twenty-nine into the third period. The junior blue ends have gotten themselves a fourth. Particulars forthcoming. from David and Eric. A Delaware goal! Scored by number 22, Michael Massey. Assisted by number 24, Gianni Pasini. And number 48, Jeffrey Colmary. Time of the goal, four minutes, 29 seconds. In the third period, Massey from Pasini and Colmary at 4.29. So now with a two goal lead. We won't say the hens have breathing room. 
because we know how quickly the tables can turn. But certainly they've got momentum on their side. Caleb Turner maintains the right point. Del Pizzo, Bellapede, Cross and Looming Net front. Man, if these three could catch lightning in a bottle. Net front chance covered up by Shiraba. Crossen, one for the thumb. Yes, sir. Nate Crossen digs a loose puck out of the crease and lofts it over the goalie. That's five for the Blue Hens. Three already and we're just six minutes into the third period. Fiore Kinsler around to Turner, who opens fire from the top of the zone right into Sharaba's breadbasket, and he holds. A Delaware goal! Scored by number 45, Nate Crossen. Assisted by number 11, Matt Bellapede. And number 18, Nick Del Pizzo. Time of the goal, 5 minutes 57 seconds in the third period. Crossen from Bellapede and Del Pizzo at 5.57. Coming to the seven minute mark of the third period, Delaware five, Exton two, the Hens have gone on an otherworldly tear. In the last 14 minutes of hockey, to climb out of a two nothing hole and now end up three in front. Wilkins stays with the puck after Heaster and before him, Hughes offered resistance on the way into the Exton zone. Moretti. From the corner. Takes a high hit below the goal line from Skrillitz. Castagliola said, not, what? not too high. He felt it was between the hips and shoulders, so... Probably one of those cases where up here it looked a lot worse than it did down ice level. They happen. Chris has the front row seat. We will most definitely defer. 8.53 to go in regulation. Delaware 5, Exton 2, and an offside blue hens group. We'll start back up just above the Exton line. Fennessy bobs and weaves through traffic, slowed up just inside the stripe by Clark. Brown cross ice pass to Clark, batted on from center. Deep into the Delaware zone where DeLegge is hassled by Mohan. Unger couldn't negotiate low zone traffic. Hughes held the right point. But again, hands doing well to keep play pressed to the perimeter. Here's Tercy in a one-on-one. -on -one. Wrist shot, skimmed the ice. Stopped and covered up by Sharaba for a pause. 
with eight minutes to go in a 5-2 contest. The fairs in town, friends, I speak of the Great Frederick Fair, not too far from where we stand right now in Frederick, Maryland, conveniently located between Baltimore, D.C. and Hagerstown. It began yesterday. It runs through September 24th, so all this week, a celebration of Americana and agriculture that's a century and a half long and still growing strong. The Great Frederick Fair, early season sponsors of Delaware Hockey Night. Ford, off the feed from Del Pizzo, steps up to the top of the right circle, lets one rip from just above the dot, caught and held by Sharaba for another pause with 7.23 to go in regulation. That was the 33rd Delaware shot on goal. Bellopede and Rogiani take the near circle draw. Bellopede on predictably with Crossan and Del Pizzo. Close up shot stopped by Sharaba. The follow up from higher in the zone right between the tops of the circles. Missed the near post. Ended up in the corner. Crutch Moyer winds up to try to clear off the carom shot far side but Schofield maintains the left point. He wobbles one in from long range, well off its target. It ends up in the near corner again. Bellopede failed to center one cleanly, brought down by Del Pizzo, stolen from him, subsequently cleared and recovered deep. In the Delaware end by Schofield. To Ford it goes. Mohan intercepts over the center logo, slowed up by an open ice body check from Schofield. And we see a rough signaled with 624 to go in the third period, and Schofield, suffice it to say, does not agree. Felt like he just stood there. But off he goes for two minutes and that Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill was over before it even began. One shot, five seconds. And Schofield is back free. We didn't even have time to read the Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill bit. But that's what the hens were on, was the Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill for all of five seconds. before Exton cut the Hens' lead. Back down to a pair. Delaware penalty assessed to number 13, Eamon Schofield. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 10 minutes, 36 seconds in the third period. Schofield, two for roughing at 10.36. Exton goal, scored by number 28, Devin Unger, assisted by number 12, Luke Mohan. Time of the power play goal, 10 minutes, 41 seconds in the third period. Unger from Mohan at 10.41, a power play goal. Five and a half minutes remain. Delaware still up, now by a tally of 5-3 after the Unger power play goal. Fiore couldn't connect from point blank range. Fennessy steps up to challenge Hughes. Wilkins bats the puck from the far corner in below the goal, where it's now thrown off the near boards by Brown, out to DeLegge, waiting 
for Kinsler and Tercy to tag up. Wilkins was the one deeper in the zone who had to come all the way back from the circles. Unger slowed up by Turner, separated from the puck. Wilkins spun off the biscuit by Heaster. Zone cleared. Cup shovels the puck back in. It caroms behind the Delaware goal where it rolled on its rib, batted back by Turner the other way. Centered now to Kopecky. His shot is skied into the netting out of play. With four minutes and 31 seconds to go. We're back on air tomorrow as the University of Delaware men's Division I team will take the ice in their final preseason matchup. They face off against the New Jersey Titans of the NA3HL. That game slated for 5-15, and it will all be right here on Delaware Hockey Night TV. 4-10 to go. Kings looking to get another one here, but the shot high in the zone from Rogiani was disrupted. Turner backhands the puck from just over the Exton blue line deep into their zone. The breakout pass intended for Rogiani. Sails all the way up ice, and this with 3.49 to go. Comes back and icing. We may be stopping for a coffee on the way home from the rink. Our videographer, Pat McDonald, not so much. He is the Nighthawk, after all. But grateful to have Pat on the DHN crew with us all day long. And happy to have him on board off and on through the course of the season. Marady's intended stretch pass for Crossan is called back and icing with 3.14 to go in regulation. Kinsler and Mohan take the draw to Mackley's right. Small and dedicated crowd, and whenever they're not vocally objecting to the adjudications, they're a pretty sedate bunch. Occasionally you'll hear a cheer from one section or another, but for the most part, quietly intent bystanders. Unger's shot rattled the boards behind the Delaware goal. Hughes leads the re-entry, two and a half minutes remaining. We'll keep an eye on Sharaba in case he makes a cut for the bench. Stoppage signaled with 2.19 remaining. This came back to center. Kings dump in. Brown lined up a slapper from the left point, but it caught his own man, David Kopecki, in the skate in the slot. Final two minutes of play in the third period. Tercy collided with Rogiani up the middle. Pasiti unable to maintain his momentum beyond the blue line of Exton. 
Schofield stretches it ahead to Massey. Little touch pass to Gianni Pasetti, who's driven into the corner boards, reaching for the puck. Saunders flips it back the other way. Here's a two-on-one for the Kings. And Lord was slowed up by Ford. Brody Ford rings the puck around the corner boards, stepping up at the left point to protect was Brown. Final 70 seconds, and the net is empty on the extant end of the rink. Three is side puck battle in the near corner of the Delaware end. One minute remaining in the period. One minute. The extra attacker has been on. Bellopede steals the puck from Skrillitz. Skates it up. Ice. And in the words of Mike Lang, Elvis has just left the building. Empty net goal at 16-14. Sharaba back in for the Kings. And that will seal it for all intents and purposes tonight. Bellapede, along with his three assists, gets the empty netter to seal the deal. A Delaware goal! His second of the DVHL season, scored by number 11, Matt Bellapede. Time of the empty net goal, 16 minutes, 14 seconds in the third period. Bellapede unassisted with the empty netter at 16-14. Roughing penalty signaled with all but seven seconds to go, and it goes against Alleggi. So one last Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill for the Blue Hens will bring us to the end of the contest. Delaware penalty assessed to number 59, Antonio DeLeggi. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 16 minutes, 52 seconds. DeLeggi, two for roughing at 16, 52. Tonight's final score, your Delaware Junior Blue Hens, six. Exton Kings, three. We'll take a quick break here on Delaware Hockey Night. When we come back, we'll wrap up with the SIDS three stars of the game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back in to Delaware Hockey Night, presented by Heather A. Long, partner of Kimmel Carter, your Delaware injury lawyers. Delaware improving a 6-0-0 on the season, 2-0-0 in DVHL play after defeating Exton 6-3 in our Saturday quad header finale. 
We'll leave you with the Sid's three stars of the game, and it was the top Delaware line combining for four goals, sweeping the three stars. Nick Del Pizzo with top honors, two goals and an assist. Matt Bellapede with the empty netter to seal things at the end, three assists as the second star. And Nate Crossan rounds out the three stars of the game with a goal himself and two assists, the catalyst for the Hens' second and third goals of the evening before offering that insurance goal in the sixth minute of the third period. So that is a wrap for us tonight. We're back at it tomorrow. Coming up at 5.15 on Sunday, the Delaware Men's Division I team taking on the New Jersey Titans of the NA3HL in preseason action. And then regular season ACHA and CHF coverage will begin Friday as the Men's Division Three team hosts Fairfield. That's coming up on Friday, September 23rd. Delaware Hockey Night is a copyrighted production of 412 Communications, all rights reserved. For the Nighthawk, Pat McDonald. This is James Witherite thanking you for your company all day long. Good night from Fred Rust Arena. One last time, the final score, Delaware Junior Blue Hens 6, Exton Kings 3. They meet again at Power Play Rinks tomorrow. We'll have a full recap available for you of the weekend's proceedings at dehockeynight.com. Good night, everybody. We'll see you again soon.